Let's take a look today at the windshield wiper motors and assemblies for Chrysler's. The one in the foreground is from an Imperial 1966 version. The one in the background is from a 64 Chrysler. The primary difference, as you can see, is the length of the arms. Well, the 66 Imperial, of course, being a much wider car than the Chrysler. But the theory is still the same. I don't mean to suggest that a 66 Chrysler will be quite the same as a 66 Imperial. Because in 65, they redesigned the Chrysler line quite a bit moving the windshield wiper assembly from under the dash to outside on the firewall. Makes it much easier to service. If you were to remove the wiper arm assembly, this is what you would end up with. You can see that the motion is transmitted from the wiper motor through this arm, and this has a D-shaped fitting. So, as the wiper motor rotates, it will move that arm, which will cause the levers to move and you can see the linkage that connects. If you were to remove it you would have what you see here. This one in particular I removed because it was loose. You see that D shape there? Well that is just uh, a pin that has been flattened and you can get wear and looseness in here. So here's the arms disassembled and you can see this D-shaped piece <clears throat> that will engage this slot here and that can be one source of your looseness. Just for a quick comparison this assembly on the bottom is for the 64 style, which has the motor up under the dashboard. This one is the 65, 66 style, probably later years as well, where the wiper transfer arms are uh, in the engine bay area. You can see that there's quite a bit of difference. So we want to discuss about the parking switch. Uh, what makes the wipers reverse and go to park? This is the, what's known as the parking switch. This is an older style unit. This is the newer style, but you can still see the switch. I'm going to take this cover off of it and show you the inside. So in normal operation, you've got your electric motor spinning, driving the gear which will rotate this large assembly 
You can kind of see the gear teeth in there. And we'll transmit the power out the shaft on the other side. But now you can see this little clever gizmo, which has got some grease on it. Well, the way this works, this piece here is attached to the switch on the other side. In normal operation, in normal operation, this little pin will be caught by the lips you see in that boss. And as it spins, you can see how it doesn't catch the switch cam. So your motors will just continue to, uh, to run and the wipers will oscillate. When you turn the wipers off, the motor will reverse. But if it doesn't have a switch to stop it, it'll just keep going in reverse. That's what that switch does. This is the parking switch, or this is what actually turns the motor off once you have it in reverse. And this plastic cam here goes through the plate to the switch and that's what will shut the motor off for park. And the way it does that is kind of clever. When you're going this way the pieces don't catch. But when the motor is now in reverse going to park, but when the motor has reversed and goes to park, the cam will come up and catch. And you see it just flipped the switch. Motor turns off, and your wipers have stopped. You see there's grease in here. Well, this grease is as old as the car because this thing isn't serviced. This can get sticky, and so if your wipers don't stop after they reversed, it's likely because this switch has gotten stuck. And you just need a good cleaning. So this is what's going on under the plate uh, when you, your wipers have been turned off. And you go to turn them on to use them and the boss will drive the pin. And it just keeps rotating. But when you go to park your wipers and you turn them off, the motor reverses. And now this pin is going the other way. And you can see how it catches on the switch. And you get to about here and it will turn off. Pretty clever little system. This is the more modern version of the parking switch. This is roughly the position that the pieces inside the motor would be once you've turned your wipers off. So when you turn them on, the pin will engage the rotating wheel and If my fingers are not in the way, you can see how it just continues to spin and it does not trip the switch. Let's say you want to go turn your wipers off. The motor now goes into reverse 
this turns the other way and you'll watch it will come up and catch the switch see and now the motor turns off the wipers are parked here it is catching the switch